Praise the Lord, my brothers and sisters, and welcome again to St. Mark Amy Church. We thank you so much for joining us for our digital worship service. We pray that the Lord has been with you and has been kind to you and has been blessing you over and over again. And we ask that you will join with us today as we go uh, to worship the Lord. We pray that something in today's message will encourage you and will strengthen your relationship with the Lord. And if not that, that you can gain something else that you can share with someone else to be a blessing unto them. God bless you and God keep you as you listen to today's message. Praise the Lord, St. Mark family and friends. Let us pray. Father, we just come to you right now thanking you, Lord, for all the things that you've done for us. Thanking you, Lord, that you allowed us to see another day. Thanking you, Lord, that in spite of us, the Heavenly Father, that you still love us. You loved us so much, Lord, that you sent us your only Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. We just come to you today, Lord, asking that you would just continue to watch over us, continue to keep us, Lord, from all hurt, harm, danger, and destruction. We ask, Lord, that you would be with our families and all of our loved ones, the Heavenly Father, Lord, and we ask that you would just continue to be that beacon of light in each one of our lives. Lord, allowing us to shine it and and to give that light and love to someone else that may not know you for themselves. We just ask right now, Lord, that you would be with those who are hurting the Heavenly Father for whatever it may be. It may be a loss or it may be um, a loss of a loved one, a loss of a job, a loss of a relationship. Whatever it may be, the Heavenly Father, we just put it all in your hands. We ask, Lord, that you would be with us as we go through this day, dear Heavenly Father. Lord, we ask that you would be with those who are bringing forth your word today, Lord. Be with the ministers and the pastors, dear Heavenly Father, that are preaching in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the word. We thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've done for us. We thank you for your, your mercies, dear Heavenly Father. We ask, Lord, that you would just Continue to be with each and every one of us. Those who are sick, the Heavenly Father, those who are shut in, those, Lord, without food, shelter, or clothing. We ask, Lord, your anointing be upon each and every one of us. We ask, Lord, that you would just continue to lead God and direct our paths. Lord, for we know that if you lead us, the Heavenly Father, that we cannot go astray. We thank you today, Lord, and we trust you with everything that we have. For we know, Lord, that you can do all things except fail. We love you today, Lord. We praise you and we give your name, the honor, the glory, and the praise. For it's in your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that we pray this prayer. And we say, Amen. Today, I'll be reading Psalms, chapter 121, verses 1 through 8. Psalms, chapter 121, verses 1 through 8. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve you your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going and your coming in from this time forth, and even furthermore. Amen. Praise the Lord. We want to just uh, share just a portion of uh, scripture that was read in your hearing, and that is verse number two of uh, Psalm 121, and it simply says this, my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you once again for allowing us this opportunity to be a witness unto you, O God, and to thank you for the many blessings that you continually overshadow us with us day by day. Now, Lord, as we come to you, uh, today, we pray that you will hide thy serpent behind the cross, Lord, and let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Lord, continue to bless those who are going through right now, God, in the midst of everything that's happening in our world and society as a whole, oh God. We lift them up before you and ask your precious blessing upon each and every one of them. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, my brothers and sisters. Thank you again for joining us today. And 
again, as I said earlier, we are just grateful to be uh, in the place today. And again, we want to lift up this message today and we pray that it helps somebody that's going through. And even if you ain't going through, we pray that it will help and encourage you. And we would like to talk today about our help comes from the Lord. Our help comes from the Lord. Now, we can all <laughs> say it that we don't need anybody's help, but we know that is not true. We all could always stand uh, some help with something uh, along the way in life and all the things that we go through and different things that we face in life, we know that we de definitely need some help. Well, I'm here to tell you today that you have that help. They have the help in our Lord and our Savior, Jesus the Christ. And that's where our help comes from. Our help comes from the Lord. But the first thing we need to do is we need to acknowledge that we can't do it all by ourselves, that we do need help and that we need do need the Lord uh, in this journey called life. Because without him, you know, it would be miserable and we'd just be going through and going through and going through and we just wouldn't be able to see the end of it. Now, I'm, I'm here, I, I want to say this to you. There are times where we're just going through some things and we don't know what to do. We don't know which way to go, which way to turn. And, and I don't know anybody out there that, that, that uh, has not experienced this. In life, there's some things that happen and you just say, what now? What next? Because life seems to come at you so hard, it's hitting you on the left, it's hitting you on the right, you know, it's hitting you in the gut. It's just, just seem like it's just taking control of every aspect of your life. And you, and we go through things, you know, we experience the hurt, the pain, and the agony, and, and the displeasure that all these things that life brings toward us. And it's hard sometimes just to grasp our minds about what in the world am I going to do? You know, and we, we tell, you know, people say, well, you know, well, just pray about it, just do that. But, but, but what happens when it gets so hard to pray, to even lift your voice to God, to when things are just simply uh, uh, just so painful that not only do you, you don't want to talk about it, but you don't even want to get out of the bed in some morning because things are just going along just that hard. And you can't do it alone. You, you can't get through this thing. You know, people, your friends and say, hey, I can help you. I want to do this for you. But it just does not seem to work. It doesn't seem to lift you up. It doesn't seem to make you motivate or anything like that. And that's why we need to seek our help from the Lord. The Lord is where our help is at. And that's where we need the strength to come from. It needs to come from the Lord, my brothers and sisters, because a lot of times uh, uh, our buddy down the street and around the corner just might not be able to overcome the hell that you're going through and, and, and the different difficulties that you're experiencing in your life. You know, and, and, and one of the things that happens is sometimes people say, well, I know what you're going through. No, you don't know what I'm going through. You may have experienced something similar, but how it affects me can be totally different than how it, it affects you. Yes, the words of our testimony and the trials and tribulation that we go through, it definitely helps and encourages others. But when we are going through and when we are experiencing that, Agnes, uh, we need our help to come from the Lord. And that's why the psalmist cries out, you know, he said, I will look to the hills from which, which cometh my help. In, in other words, you, you got to seek the Lord. You got to seek him out and, and seek the Lord in the midst of everything he's going through. And you might be saying, now, well, Pastor, how in the world am I going to be trying to focus on God when I got all this other stuff going on? Trust me. It is where your focus needs to be and because he can and he will definitely help the situation that out that you're going through. And you just can't always seek help everywhere. You know, that, that somebody said, you know, well, you're looking for love in all the wrong places. Well, we do that same thing with help. We look for help sometimes in all the wrong places. And sometimes we look to things that really are not going to help us. Uh, uh, in a lot of cases, it hinders and it hurts us and it distracts us from going to the Lord God Almighty. He is our help. You know, he, he is our very present help in the time of trouble. And he's the one that we need to focus on. And he's the one that we need to go to. And you might say, well, you know, I'm going through this. I'm going through that. Sometimes it's a spiritual battle that you're going through. Guess what? The Lord is your help. Yes, well, I, I got a physical thing going on. The doctor said this, and I got this going on, and, and I have pain, and I have this. Well, guess what? 
the Lord is your help in that situation. Well, sometimes it's, it's just a, it's a mental thing. I can't, can't get over this and I can't get up. Well, guess what? The Lord is your help in that too. And my brothers and sisters, yes, the Lord can direct us and guide us to, to persons to be able to help us, uh, our doctors and psychiatrists and people like that that can be able to help uh, counselors. You know, they're here so that, that they can guide and help us to get our help. But ultimately, our help comes from the Lord. And that's who we ought to be seeking, seeking the Lord and asking God to help us through whatever we're going through. And how does he help? He helped through all the little things, through the doctors, through the nurses, through the psychiatrists, through the counselors, and those persons that can help us through a rough time. Because everything that we have going on in society right now, I don't know of anybody that can't stand in the need of some help. But I love how the psalmist said, he said, he will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. And that's what, you know, the Lord's help is like that. It's better than any kind of security system you can have, because guess what? The Lord watches over us, not just during the daytime, not just when we're in trouble, but he watches all the time. And that's, that's, that's a blessing to know that God watches out for us. You know, he, he is our keeper, as the psalm says. He is the shade at the right hand. The sun will not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. God is that kind of protector that provides for us, that blesses us even when we don't even realize that God is blessing us. He moves obstacles out of the way before we even know that they're coming at us. And that's the kind of help and protection that the Lord provide for us. And we need to acknowledge that we need that help. And we need that help. We need that help. We need that help. And we need it from the Lord. We need, we sometimes just need to come down off of our high horses, you know, and, and, and not think that we're above everything, that we know it all and that we got it all going on. And we need to humble ourselves and go to God and ask God for help when we're going through, when we, when, even when we're not going through. We need the Lord's help because we don't not only need him when we get in into situation, but we need his help in order to help us to steer around trouble. You know, that's important to know because a lot of times we see the trouble is right there in front of us and, and we can't seem to see it. But with God's help, he can say, oh, wait a minute, you need to pump your brakes, you need to slow down or you need to move around this because this will cause you pain. This will cause you trouble. And this will cause you to be able to go through some things. And, and it happens. So many people are suffering and going through right now. And I know people, you know, the pandemic is going on. It's not just that, it's, it's the separation. They're not being able to gather together with your loved ones. And so many people have lost family members in the midst of this thing going on. But even without COVID, that still happens. We lose people and stuff. And people go through. There's grief and there's hurt and there's pain that's happening all over the place. And sometimes we forget that people are going through and we just try to gloss over it like, but, but hey, you need help. You can't get through this thing alone. You need the Lord to help you, to strengthen you, to encourage you day by day, my brothers and sisters, to be able to move through and to be able to call on the name of the Lord is not a bad thing. It's a great thing when you're calling him because guess what? I know when you call, God hears our cry. But as I'm, I'm going to say, you know, hear our cry, oh God, and attend unto, to, to our prayer from the ends of the earth. The Lord cries out. He cries out from the ends of the earth. The ends of the earth. God cries. Lord knows we've been through some rough times. But guess what? God is still with us. He's still there. He still hears us. He still comes to our rescue. He still heals. Psalm says this is at Torah's verse 7. He says, the Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. Because guess what? Many afflictions are going to attack the physical body. But our soul, God will protect that. Isn't that a blessing to know that the Lord shall preserve you going out and you're coming in, not just from this time, but it says from this time and for what? Forevermore. Our help, our help comes from the Lord. And we need to acknowledge that. And we need to acknowledge that our help comes from the Lord. 
a lot of times when we we thanking uh, other people and we thinking this and we thinking that, we forget to thank God for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who went all the way to Calvary and died on that cross that we may have life and have more abundantly. That's our help. Our help is the Lord. He is there for us. Don't leave home without the Lord's help. Don't go into a relationship without the Lord's help. Don't make any major decisions or any kind of decision without the Lord's help because he's there for us. He's there for us to ask him. He, he's willing to be there so you, so you can ask him whenever you want to for him to help you to make the right decisions, for him to help you to make the right choices. And some of you may be thinking today, I haven't made a decision uh, uh, for a savior. Well, today is a good day to ask the Lord to be your savior. He's that kind of present help in times of trouble, the word tells us. But even when times aren't troubled, we need the Lord's help to guide, to strengthen us, and to keep us from our own foolishness. The word that tells what it says, it says, lean not to thy own understanding, but in all thy ways what acknowledge the Lord. He will direct our paths. He will keep us, in other words, on the straight and narrow, but left unto our own vices. My brothers and sisters, we will be led astray into things that are not of God. And we will forget where our help comes from. We will begin to trust in the things of man. And guess what? Those things fade away. They're only temporary. And most of the things that we seek after and that or they're worth, they only last for a little while. And then you're here, you are looking for something else. But have you tried the Lord? Have you tried asking him for help? And some of you have been going through the same old thing over and over and over again. You've been to this person. You've been to that person. You've tried this. You've tried that. But you fail to seek the Lord, to ask him for help. Make a different choice today. Don't ask mama. Don't ask daddy. Ask the Lord for his help because he is our help in the times of what? Trouble. And that you will know beyond a shadow of a doubt where your help comes from. Your help, our help comes from the Lord. God bless you and God keep you in Jesus name. Amen. Brothers and sisters, thank you for joining us today. And there may be someone today, as I said earlier, that you have not made a decision to give your life to Christ. Won't you just pray this simple prayer with me? So, oh Lord, here I am, a sinner saved by your grace, knowing, Lord, that I have fallen short and I have not lived up to your commandments. But today, Lord, I want to ask the Lord Jesus Christ to come into my life, make me a new creature, let old things pass away. I accept the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior today. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer for the first time, my brothers and sisters, welcome to the kingdom of God. We stand ready here at St. Mark to help you and to encourage you in the things of the Lord so you can join us during our Bible studies and our church school so you can learn the word of God. And also you can join in with our prayer meetings. And we stand ready to assist you in any way that we can. You will have information at the end of this message. It will tell you how to contact us. And please do give us a call. Let us know that, hey, today I made a great decision. I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. And even if you have accepted him and you already, already know him as Savior, um, you might want to join us in our fellowship. To join us with us here at St. Mark. You can also do that also. But give us a call and we will pray with you. We will ask God to bless you and we will walk you with you through this journey. Until next time, may God keep you, may he bless you, may he be uh, surround you with his love and encouragement in all that you do. And always remember that our help 
comes from the Lord.